when you think of graffiti, what images come to mind? You know, what are the things that, uh, you know, you think of? Well, for me, I think of a very specific kind of stylized writing for the more elaborate graffiti um, or just, you know, like tagging, you know, dongs. I don't know. There's all kinds of things that you can find that it would identify as graffiti. The question is, is this art? I, I actually did like research into this. I, I looked at different websites and different things and different theories that people have said. There are all, this is a very divided issue. Some people are just like, absolutely not, absolutely yes. And I will tell you that my sister, uh, who grows up in New York, uh, who grows up in New York, we, we grew up in New York, who lives in the city, um, is a very strong proponent of graffiti being art. It is a form of art. I'm a little bit more conservative in that way. Um, I don't know, as a property owner, I think that I just think a, a little bit, and anyway, she rents. Um, it's expensive in New York. These things that I'm mentioning though, you know, the tagging and the dung, um, they, they might not be considered art, but regardless of where they came from or where they're put, I think it absolutely is art. So art has movements all the time, whether it's, you know, pop art or uh, Post-impressionism, impressionism, renaissance painting, these are different art movements and e they evolve. That's how you go from impressionism to post-impressionism. It's like a sequel, prequel, I don't know. You know, I also think that part of the thing that goes into graffiti is that there's a, sometimes it can be a little politically charged. If you look at like the really, really well-known, like Banksy and uh, Space Invader and all those, you know, they, they seem to be trying to tell us something that, you know, they can't just go on TV and say because they're afraid nobody will listen, you know? Yeah, reveal yourself! If you, if you contact me, Banksy, just, you know, PM me your information. I just want to talk. I won't blow your cover. I won't blow your cover. I just want to talk. I can do an interview with him like his voice distorted. Yeah, you think he'd do that? Probably not. For food, is that totally hard. In fact, speaking of um, Banksy, I mean, Banksy has sold pieces at Sotheby's in London. Not only is it you know, art is it making money? Do people buy it? People want it. Now, the big issue that, of course, is with graffiti is it can be vandalism. That, that there's a, a difference. There are urban beautification movements out there where cities will like plot a, a wall out and have murals done, or maybe like at NC State here in North Carolina, they have something called a free expression tunnel, which is actually really smart. It's a tunnel that is uh, any students allowed to do whatever they want on the walls of the tunnel. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe 20 yards worth of tunnel, maybe a little less, it's been a long time. And every two weeks they just go and roll it white and everybody's got a blank canvas and it prevents vandalism from other places. People can put things up there and express themselves and uh, not feel that they have to hide when they're doing it and get their message out in front of a bunch of people because a lot of people go through that tunnel. Um, I imagine at this point, because it's been going on like 40 years, it's like that thick of like just rolled paint. But um, it was an interesting idea. I don't know how many other universities do that. Did any of your cities or universities do that? Let me know. I don't know. I'm curious. There's also a stigma behind graffiti. Um, statistically speaking, uh, the majority of art supplies that are used for graffiti uh, are not only uh, provided for in an art store, but stolen from art stores. Uh, if you live in any kind of urban area, you know that spray paint, paint markers, they get locked up because these things are stolen all the time. In fact, I could retire right now if people would stop stealing our graffiti stuff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it wouldn't affect me either way. The fact that Banksy's art was sold at Sotheby's, it, it kind of forces it to be legitimized. It's a legitimate form of art. You know, it, 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 you can't deny that if somebody's willing to buy something because of the way it looks, regardless of who made it, that, that that's art, that's a form of art. Now, I don't know exactly what was auctioned off. Was it the side of a bank or something? I don't know, or was it something that was done uh, legally or not on a public display or whatever? Um, but, you know, it it definitely gives a strong case for it being art. But it is still vandalism. That That's 
that's where I get kind of like, you know what? No. That vandalism costs people, and, and you know, might, may not realize this, a lot of money. I found one statistic that the city of Chicago in 2006 spent over $6.5 million of taxpayers' money just to clean graffiti. 6.5, they, they made a budget. Like, this is the budget amount we're budgeting. Um, I mean, that's huge. That's a huge amount of money that could be going to something much better. Uh, but it, it just goes to show just how damaging it is. You know, it costs a lot of money to cities. So some of you guys that are huge graffiti fans say, just, we'll leave it up. And anybody that's like, it's not vandalism, you know, I'm trying to make a message here. If you own a car, would you want me to go and tag it? I mean, you wouldn't. I don't think you would. I mean, maybe you'd be okay with me doing it because it's me. You know, it's like, oh, Mike, now Jerry did that. Just because, you know, I'm saying it's art, just because it's art, that doesn't make it all right to do. You know, it, it really doesn't uh, in terms of the vandalism side of it. You know, that's no excuse like, oh, it's art, so it's okay because we have the free, you know, First Amendment rights. Well, that does not cover vandalism. That is not a First Amendment right. It's freedom of speech is, but there are ways that you go about doing that. This is getting kind of preachy, and I don't like that. There's also a strong correlation, again, this is based off statistics, of amounts of graffiti and uh, gang violence. They have to be known. They're like... West Side Story. Again, not all graffiti is done illegally. There are many different things that the style of art that graffiti is, is done legitimately, whether it's that urban beautification. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever wanted a custom t-shirt made at a fair or at, you know, you know, these artists will, you know, create shirts or uh, license plate. You know, uh, if you live in like New York, you know, you can't do it. But like here in North Carolina, we only have license plates on the back of our cars. You don't need them in the front, so you can have a decorative one on the front. And so, you know, people like to have their own customized ones made, and, and they're using that graffiti style that, like, it's almost a form of calligraphy in itself. I mean, really, it is, um, especially when it gets to this more elaborate, stylized writing that's more than just a tag. It's thought out. It's imaginative. It might even have gradients. It might even have puppies. And who doesn't want a puppy? Where do you stand? Let's let's go back to the audience. Let's let's bring this back in. Where do you stand on the whole graffiti uh, argument? Is it art? Is it absolutely not art? You're welcome to your own opinions. That's what this is all about. I welcome anybody's uh, thoughts on the process. I have a feeling that there might be a little bit of diversity uh, amongst those. Um, I'm not really sure of the full uh, demographic of the people that watch these videos, but. Um, you know, there anybody can find you know search graffiti in YouTube and find this video perhaps. So, uh, I'm, I, if you're a first timer, let me know. You know, let me know what your thoughts are um, and make a case. You know, I, I think that that's that's cool. You know, it's cool to talk about these kind of things. You know, take your time and figure out what you consider art or uh, what you consider graffiti, and uh, take your time to figure out me on Instagram where nobody else has uh, at Mike Now Jerry, where I hope uh, you tag me in your artwork. Uh, and, and when I say tag, I don't mean like tag me on your artwork, but at Mike Not Jerry on Instagram. Do not write my name on walls, please. I am not asking for that. Um, you can write my name on paper. People have done little portraits of me and stuff. I love that. That's flattering. And while you're on our channel, please uh, check out our other videos. We do our Jerry's Live after parties where Amy and I uh, talk about various art subjects that were talked about on Jerry's Live. Uh, and if you can catch Jerry's Live, you can find it at 5.30 p.m. on Tuesdays on both Facebook, uh, at Jerry's, Jerry's at Arms Facebook page, and uh, on YouTube now. Having Amy there kind of showing me uh, who's, you know, a real professional, went to school for it, artist. You know, she's done her 10,000 hours. You know, I've, I've probably done about 6,000 minutes. What would be my tag name? Mike, not Jerry? What was that? Mikey G? Okay. Don't start tagging Mikey G. People think it's me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't steal art supplies. That's the real message. Don't steal art supplies.